What's going on YouTube? I actually have some cards today, but I also, it's been a little bit because it's just been harder and harder for me to find. Sorry about the weird lighting's coming through my blinds. Um, it's just been harder and harder for me to find some stuff that I need or want. Uh, prices have been kind of crazy lately. So you gotta really pick and choose. Uh, and I think everyone is on that boat. Uh, so, but I want to, before I show the cards, I want to get into, um, I got a couple minor things, uh, well, not minor, but I, things I want to just throw out there. How bad are you guys wanting sports on TV right now? I, 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 at a loss, I, my Tigers are terrible. They're on paper. They look like trash, but I miss watching them every single night. Does that, does that make sense? If I'm going to be on the ride, I want to be on the ride fully. I was on the ride fully when we almost made the record amount of losses uh, that one season. I can't remember what season that was, but it was close. <laughs> it was close. And I love that team. Um, It was fun. I mean, that win, losing isn't fun, but uh, that's my team. And I'm going to support my team. Whatever product they put on the field... I have to be there for them. Same thing with football or anything. That all of a sudden the Packers turn to garbage. Uh, I will be there down in flames with them. Uh, I do not fair weather anything. I am going to be right there in the doldrums. <laughs> Whatever it takes. That's my team. I support my team. Do I like half the team time what the people do on my team? What they what the the craziness that some of these young kids do? No. I'm very critical of that, actually. But in the long run, I'm going to back my team. Um, and it, no matter how bad they are, it's okay. It's, it really is okay. I don't get really wound up until it starts. people start making it very personal against these, these young kids. Yes, they do something stupid, of course. You, yeah, but if you just like just you know constantly ragging on someone just because you don't like how they play, cripes! It's the NFL. Uh, <laughs> this, there's some damn good football players out there, uh, and to rise, to raise your expectations in the NFL when everyone around you has been the elite athlete all their lives uh, in their area in their college. It's hard to do, and it's hard to succeed in the NFL and have longevity. But anyways, I miss I miss sports. There's golf, and I miss team sports, I guess. Um, other thing, great crazy stuff is happening as far as um, investing. It's the first time I really can say I invested in, in things, uh, in cards. Because cards is really not your typical thing that you want to invest in. Because it's never has the sustainability. But recently, uh, the new... Well, it's, not, it's not exactly new. But it has taken off. Is um, this just in this last year, I would have to say... As, oh, ever since Aaron Judge in baseball. As to buy retail. You could go and buy retail at any time before Aaron Judge. At any time. It'd be there. Now you can't go buy anything. Unless you're this guy and find it uh, right place, right time. Or not exactly luck on my side. I knew when the person was stocking and I was there when she was there. I happened to have that day off. So my local Walmart, I picked up $315 worth of Bowman. Uh, then my business partner... Walked into his local Target and found two thousand dollars, sixteen hundred of it being Bowman in mega boxes. There's no limit by us. I've heard limits have being had um, of like two, and that's it. He bought sixty boxes of mega boxes of Bowman and some odd ends of Prism Draft football. Uh, but we hit a, basically a two thousand dollar purchase. We took my Bowman, which is 315, and it is the 2,000, the 200, 
$2,300 worth of product. We turned that into a um, $2,000 and a case of mosaic basketball blasters, which I think there's 20 in a case, sealed case. So we've been kind of wheeling and dealing. We still got some other cards yet that we possess. Um, so in the long run, if we sold everything now, I think I would make a profit. Each of us in our partnership would make a profit of $1,250 a piece for literally just buying stuff off retail shelves in the long run. Because what really exploded for us is we found, both of us found, my little sister found some optic in her area. You know, I bought it from her. And then he found optic at that same target. He found the Bo the, the Bowman Megas. Uh, that We turned this $900 purchase of optic into just crazy stuff, into a Giannis collection. And it's just some other odds and ends. Right now we own a, a Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, dual auto. Uh, a Reggie White 101 Flawless Diamond. And just some odds and ends. We have another Larry Bird auto. We got an Albert Pujols auto. We just got stuff. We got so we got a case of mosaic blasters, and probably uh, you know, whatever it turns out to be. But um, I would say about fifteen hundred dollars or more. Well, uh, with the with the car, with, it's probably twenty five hundred dollars or more in carbs left. Um, because the 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 Jordan and the Bird duel, that's at least fifteen. Um, probably eighteen hundred dollars so right now we both have invested seven hundred and fifty dollars so we have fifteen hundred invested in all the stuff we have which is insane so i mean how to to make money in cards it's just it's not easy to do uh but if you know the right people and, the, and you know what to buy uh it turns out to be another fun part of the hobby, which I've never experienced before this last year. So I'm enjoying it. And I, I know how some people feel about me like clearing out Bowman. And here's the thing that my buddy has said, if it's not me taking all the Bowman, then the very next person will. So that's the way it is nowadays. I'm sorry that it's that way, but if it's gonna be anybody, it's gonna be me. If I find it, I'm buying it. Sorry, uh, I don't like hurting people's feelings. It just, uh, it's, it's gonna happen regardless. It's happening all over this country. Uh, so I just want my little piece and that's what I'm doing. And I just got lucky and found it. So, I mean, every one of our purchases has just been right place, right time. Um, I found all that prism basketball that I, half of it, um, I, I, I didn't buy it all then. I wish I would have, but I opened all of it after finding my Zion silver. So, um, if I only would have knew to stop right after I got the Zion silver, I would have, but I didn't, I was an idiot. So we live and learn. So what we've, um, turned into it, I think is pretty exciting. It's fun. And I don't care what people think of me about it. I'm not, I'm not hiding that I, that I buy retail and make money off of it. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta do it. If I want to get stuff like I'm going to show today and, and keep my hobby going, I have to, it helps me. I don't have to dig into savings or anything like that and worry about what I'm going to be paying for it when I can just get this stuff and say, okay, it's it. I normally do that anyway, but I'm in the spot where I can make a little money. You have to have a little money to make a little money. And that's what we're doing. Now let's get into the cards. Nine minutes in and I haven't showed anything. It's Okay. We'll do one for the Spectra Hall of Fame set. I'm down to needing only one more after this card I'm going to show. Number 19 out of 50, inducted in 2018, Brian Dawkins. And I got to get this on a different, uh, either take that off and get the, the. it's from a break. It's from, I, I don't even announce it. Iron Lion Breakers, never heard of them. The Iron Lion Breakers. Um, so I bought it off eBay for about 77 shipped, uh, which is... I wanted it for a lot less than that, but it just wasn't going to happen. So a nice Brian Dawkins. Um, that autograph isn't quite perfect, but it's very eye appealing. It's a nice card. Down to needing the Eric Dickerson from Plates and Patches, which is a Colts uniform. Please, um, if you know anybody has that card, send them my way. Uh, 
I really would like to be caught up. I haven't seen one of the Eric Dickerson since probably March, late March. Um, I did get a couple of jersey cards uh, of Star, which I was very happy about because my um, that's where I'm lacking. I'm lacking in base and 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 memorabilia, um, uh, memorabilia cards. Um, number two thirty three out of two fifty from two thousand seven gridiron gear. Was that some pubage in there? Let's, let's let's either let's take it out of there, or see if it actually is. Let's let's do this on camera. Why not? Let's have some fun. I, it's in these one of these weird cases which I hate. Hate these kind of cases. Um, let's see if it's just a dog hair or what is it? It just looks like a thread sitting in there. That I can't get out, of course. Oh boy. I just like it. Yeah, just a thread. I don't know if it's was it there the whole time, but it looks like it was uh, not supposed to be a part of it. I, I didn't get it all off, but there you go. Got to take a vacuum to it. <laughs> So 233 out of 250, uh, this cost me about 20 bucks for something out of 250. So that's what it is. Bart Star is what it is. This one was the same, about the same price. This one's number one out of 49. So eBay one of one, which is the stupidest thing in the world. But this is from uh, Playbook, uh, 2012 Playbook. It's kind of like a neat jersey size there uh the 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 jersey window is a different kind of a thing but it's bigger it's nice uh just a nice white piece of jersey uh would love to have a patch version of that but very nice uh limited edition uh very very cool i need a lot of more jersey stuff it's uh it's getting there it gets there by chance but my first objective of all objectives is find those autographs. Um, I'm an autograph. I love it. I'm going to pick. Some people are patch people. I love the autos. Love them. Um, always intrigued me. This next card was one. It was probably. It was on my top five list. Uh, just. And now it is off of it because uh, I just. Uh, it's, it's harder and harder for me to find the on card autos because I have a lot of them. Um, I don't I may even not have all the versions, different versions of certain sets like uh, five star or whatever. They have like um, a rainbow version autograph and a base version autograph. You know what I mean? I, I have a lot of on cards, uh, a lot of hits. And uh, this is one that was in dire straits to be in my collection. It had to be. Uh, if I'm going to have a Bart Star collection, I couldn't believe this card is available. Put yourself back into 2001. Go back there. If you're, if you were, I wasn't collecting in 2001, but if you were, remember how ecstatic you were when you got something that was numbered, um, especially numbered low. It would have blown your mind back then, correct? Imagine get, pulling this out of 2001 SP game used Jersey Auto, eight out of 25. That card would have just been slamming back in 2001. On card, beautiful on card autograph. If you put it in the light just right, you can see it. Um, only thing I, uh, I wish was they put this in a lighter area. This is on card. If this was in a lighter area, the autograph would just pop more because uh, it's a dark blue um, marker used or pen. So game used. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, cause I love symmetry. Uh, I'm going to probably crack this cause I have most of my stuff is either raw and magged, uh, or it's BGS, uh, graded. So this, since it's a PCA P PSA autograph slab, which is an 8.5, by the way, it's not terrible for something that's old. Um, I think I'm just going to go with symmetry and crack it and mag it. I looked it over. I think it has a corner issue because the corners are going to show up. Uh, all four corners are pro they're probably going to give me like an eight in the corners. It might get a nine BGS. Um, boy, maybe 
Yeah, if I would say a nine overall for a BGS. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than that. So, but anyways, that's what I'm going to do. Huge card. Beautiful photo. And if you didn't notice in the back, this photo is ghosted right here in the background. They don't make cards like this anymore. Where are you guys? Make something like that again. Uh, I, I, Panini isn't totally shit. Just, um, they make some products that I actually love, but it's so few and far between that they just they over they just oversaturate uh, the market with too many different products, and they never really collaborate and just get one product that's just banging every time. You know what I mean? Um, something that you would look forward to, something they put all their effort into, and it's awesome, and everybody wants it. Um, Upper Deck used to do that. Um, it's, I miss you, Upper Deck. Panini can do it if they want to, but they know the they know the customer, and they know that the customer will purchase anything, and that's sad because um, I'm not one of those customers. I will purchase selectively. I'll let those other people open the crap because I am not opening it. So that's a <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but awesome, awesome, awesome. That's a, a big boy out of the way. Beautiful. 8 out of 25. Like I said, put yourself back in 2001 and see you would have shit the bed for something numbered out of 25 in 2001. So, thanks everybody for watching. I love you guys. Uh, take care. And who knows when it's going to be next. But what a journey. I think that's autograph number 98. Let me look. Before I leave, let me look. <laughs> I got my yellow yes autograph number 98 it's going to be when I write it in my in, in my legal pad so two away from a milestone it, it only took me six years <laughs> and I'm still not there yet so you never know alright take care guys have fun with the hobby because and always find different ways to have fun with it, like I have been lately. Uh, it's refreshing. Take care. Love you guys.